Industries by the Office of Career Development within the Biomedical Research Education Training Department of the Vanderbilt University School of Medicine. My name is Kate Stewart, and I'm here today with Dr. Hayes McDonald. Welcome back. Thank you. Um, we're excited to have you, and you graduated in 1999 in cell biology? Yes. All right, so can you tell us a little bit about what you did when you were here at Vanderbilt? So I was uh, studied in Kathy Gould's lab. We did cell cycle progression. Uh, primarily did a lot of uh, engineering, uh, biochemistry, uh, ended up doing a lot of purification of, of protein complexes there. Okay, so what was your path from Vanderbilt to what you do now? Well, so I, I left uh, Vanderbilt, uh, went and did a postdoc with John Yates' lab. Um, that's where I moved from uh, cell biology into proteomics, uh, and that really allowed me to take advantage of what I learned uh, about purifying proteins. I worked a lot with the Yeast Resource Center out uh, in the University of Washington, and we were able to collaborate with labs all around the world uh, on purifying their their protein complexes, thus characterizing them, and really uh, trying to be a clearinghouse for the information about how best to do that uh, on both ends of the, the spectrum. Uh, I went from there to Oak Ridge National Lab for four years, and we worked there on trying to uh, build that up to a factory scale, so do that systematically through an entire organism. Um, after uh, after leaving Oak Ridge, I came back here, and I've been doing much the same what I was doing with the Yeast Resource Center uh, in the proteomics facility here at Vanderbilt. And so we, we basically try to help people um, answer their biological questions. Okay, so what does that look like daily? Like, what do you do every day? A lot of what I do is, uh, uh, is of course, you know, planning uh, experiments, uh, making certain instruments are working. There's a good bit of, of spit and duct tape, keeping those running uh, ideally every day. And then um, probably my most important role is meeting with the faculty that want to come do research. Uh, making certain that the answers we can give them are going to be relevant for the biological question that they have. So that's where my background in biology uh, really helps because I mean, sometimes the most important thing I can tell them is you really shouldn't bring this sample to us. Uh, you're, either you're not ready or there are better technologies uh, to answer the question that you can to, to deal with. And being able to collaborate with them is really what I spend most of my energy doing, uh, that and the data analysis on the back end, making certain that the answers we're getting them are relevant. Okay, so how is this role a good fit for you? Uh, basically, it's what I like doing. I like helping people do their research better. Uh, I, I know what our technologies can do. I know most of what their problems are. Um, and in addition to that, it's fun to just try to be able to keep up so you get sometimes you get you know, 15 minutes every six months of a person trying who's completely engulfed in their research, and you try to keep up and say, oh well, that's now I remember what you're doing, and and being able to to get up to speed very quickly and help them out uh, and and to be a sort of a uh, another another set of eyes on the science they're doing. Okay, so how would someone who is a current graduate school or graduate student <clears throat> or postdoc who is interested in this role, what would they need to do now to sort of prepare themselves for the, that career field? Um, I, I think you would, I mean, there's several sorts of, of technological uh, events um, that you can, or there are people that have prepared either from an analytical standpoint, sort of analytical chemistry standpoint, which is more the field I'm in, uh, and then gone and learned the biology. I think it actually probably is an easier way to go if you start out predominantly with a biological background and then move into the analytical field, um, you know, be it proteomics, be it genomics, be it other sorts of, of these um, technology intensive fields uh, to, to really have a strong basis in the biological sciences before you try to move into the, um, the hardcore analytical aspects. Okay, so what skills did you need to gain after uh, you were here at Vanderbilt as a student that you needed now that you're in this field? Well, I, I basically needed to learn a whole different discipline. Um, so it was it was analytical chemistry. It was uh, sort of a, a 
technological based, a lot of computer stuff. Uh, so it was it was stuff I had a proclivity towards uh, geeking out on. So it was it was fun learning that, and, and that's as much as anything probably the most important thing that that whatever you do, you're going to have to delve into, and so you better like it. Uh, <laughs> it's it's really important. Okay, so. Um if you could repeat your graduate school experience again, what are some things that you would do differently or what are some of the words of wisdom that you would give current trainees? I think the, uh, I don't know that I would have done much differently, but I, I would recommend any, any current trainee that's looking to do anything data intensive um, to spend some time learning um, our uh, sort of statistical, mathematical, analytical things uh, and probably even pick up a programming language like, like Python or Ruby. I learned Perl as in a postdoc that probably wasn't the ideal thing to, to, to know, but it enabled me to do some things that I didn't have to go rely on a programmer to do for me. And, and having that ability allows you a lot of flexibility that you just don't have if you don't have those capabilities. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um, tell me about your work-life balance. What does that look like for you? Uh, I try to uh, make certain I've got uh, uh, two nine-year-old twins, and so it's really important for me anyway uh, to be uh, watch them grow up and participate in that as much as possible. And so I uh, really like to um, you know, make certain I'm not putting off things just because of work. Um, I have some flexibility in that we can, we can monitor our experiments and do data analysis remotely. Um, but really being able to be there and present and participating in their lives and the chance to you know, teach my children how to whitewater kayak. And that's something I've dreamed about doing. And now they're just getting old enough that we can start doing it. So that's, I'm, I'm enjoying that aspect of my life. That's great. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time and thanks for coming back. Thank you. Thank you.